Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Um, <coughs> we're going to do colour and chat today and we're going to do a picture. We're going to start a picture from Whimsy Girls at Work. This isn't going to be a long one, it's getting late and I want to go to bed. Um, it's Paul's birthday tomorrow. Well, it'll be Paul's birthday when you're seeing this, so. I'm mean, wrapping his present up and um, doing some eBay stuff. So we're going to colour in this cover picture, which is uh, Rosie the Riveter. We're going to do the, the full one, because even the full one in this book isn't that detailed. So just a disclaimer, this is an adult channel. Um, we look at hobbies, adult hobbies. Um, so photography, um, reading and colouring is the one we are doing most of at the moment. And today we're going to be using the Arteza Everblend markers, which I've not used yet. So there are three real um, skin tones in this one I would say that I would use. Um, and they are uh, Peach, Peaches and Cream and Macca and Pink. Possibly, if you want to give it a little bit darker, Desert Sand, but I think I'm going to have to um, get the uh, other markers now, uh, the skin tones. Now, I am not very good at uh, markers, so I probably should use the chisel, really. So, first of all, I want to say hello to all of my new subscribers. I've had a few more come in. I really appreciate you joining me. Um, in my colouring journey and my crafting journey because I do do diamond painting as well though uh, not as much um, so yes yeah, so thank you for joining me oops it's gone into a hair it doesn't really matter that's why I don't like using the um, chisel I prefer much much prefer using the bullet but obviously I want to get this on quite quick Like I said, I'm not very good at colouring with markers. I don't use them very often. As I said, there's no... It's just... I need to practice. And I'll be practising a lot off camera as well. But I thought we'd just have a laugh together and do this one. So that's that one, and then we got peach and macaroon pink. So we use macaroon pink now. Now I will use the um, other one here. We're just going to go. I am liking these markers. This is the first time I've used them since we did the swatching video. I haven't actually coloured with them yet. Um, markers are just one of those things that again I have to do at night because of uh, Jennifer will try and grab the pens which is not good. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't do a lot of marker work. So this is going to be the real first time I've actually done anything with them. Um, a bit more peach, I think. Like I said, the lightest colour is actually the peaches and cream, which 
as you can see it's drying fairly light and it is drying quite quickly we're just going to go over it again so I hope you can see this and it looks alright and it's not too bad I'm not worried about going over the lines because um, some of these will have darker colours on them. Now, we do want a bit of, um, I'm going to use, is this this one? It is. We're going to give her a bit of a, a bit of blush. We're going to use a, a, a darker colour here. Yeah, she is a working girl. Well, I've never used one of these colourless blenders, so this is going to be interesting just to go over it with. I like the way it kind of blends it in nicely. Now a blush isn't the best. I'm going to go over it again with the pink, I think, just to take some of the... In fact, it's not that bad, actually. It looks better than I thought it would. I'll just go over that one. So, yeah, when you're colouring with these, you've really got to be careful because you're putting so much liquid onto the, to the page. Yeah, it's not looking anywhere. Look at the cover. Yeah, she's a lot pinker than my Rosie the Riveter, but it's got to dry. So we'll just use the the bullet for her neck. See so, you now the bullet looks a lot lighter than the chisel, which is weird, but hey. I hope you are all okay. <clears throat> uh, um, yeah, you know it's. We're good here, like I said, it's Paul's birthday, so we'll be going out. When you've seen this, we'll have been out um, just uh, for some lunch and to get some money. We're not spending a lot of money this year because we're trying to save money to uh, get our uh, living room sorted. Which isn't cream again. So. Blender pencil, yes. As you can see, it's all gone in her eye. Now, somebody said if you take the blender pencil and, and do it quite quickly, or the blender, you, you can actually get rid of some of the ink. I'm not really too worried about it because it's going to be going over with a dark brown anyway for eye colour. She's not very pink. As you can see, it's gone way through because obviously it is thin paper. But we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work, it's just a test and we're having fun. And, and that's what it's all about. Let's do our arm now. So yeah, I mean, I do like, I really don't like using these, as you can tell. I'm just going way out the lines. Really matter down there because that's her other arm. I am liking these markers though, and this pink is quite nice. It's very dark on this paper though, a lot darker than on the Jade Summer paper. Um, Still quite wet, I can feel it under my hand. So it probably will dry a lot lighter than it is. At the moment. I think I do want to get the skin tone set definitely there's not a I mean even with the peaches and cream I don't think there's enough uh, 
that's peaches and cream, that's desert sand, peach. I just don't think it's quite, there's quite enough colours. I think, I get, I do get, I, I do guess, get why people you like a lot of greys, but I think it would have been better served having more of the skin tones rather than the, the greys. You know, they could have cut a few of those out and had more of the skins, but that's my personal opinion, uh, but I still like them. It's only because I haven't got the... 30 odd pounds required to purchase the um, skin tone set just yet. But I will be buying them as soon as I've got enough money for them. So you can't see all of what I've done because I've gone too far down the thing. Let me just pull it out a bit. There you go. Looks a lot lighter up there, but she's still very pink. He's still too pink for my liking. I haven't put as much on the arm so it's a little bit lighter but this is very very pink. Almost looks as if she's uh, been standing in a um, in hot hot uh, environment which she, of course she probably would have been. <laughs> Rosie the Riveter. So based on the uh, World War II uh, Rosie the Riveter um, image. So if I knock the camera, I do apologise. But uh, like I said, this is just a, I thought we'd just use this one first, just to try these these pens out and see how they they look. And I'm, I'm really, I am pleased with them. I'm not pleased with the way I'm doing it because I'm like, oh, my face is a bit pink. It's a bit overdone. But I do like it. To me, it doesn't look like that's working. It is, but it's me. Nearly done with this bit. Oops. You think I'd know how to check for the blinking uh, chisel come thing? But um, yeah, not so much. There we go. Keep the blender out. I'm just going to put my desert sand back in because I'm not going to be using that again anytime soon. Oh. So, yeah, it's, it's not looking too bad, actually. Um, macaroon was first. Peaches, and then peaches and cream, and then peaches, that's fine. Right, okay, so you want a red for her bandana and the, her lips. So, there we are, her face is getting slightly better. It's a bit streaky, but I've not really used them before. Um, ruby red and wine red. Wine red. Where's ruby? Is that this next one over? Yeah. And then again, there should be a rose red somewhere. They're not in the right order. Ruby red, rhyme red. That's weird. Rose red. Fine. Okay. I am a bit slow. So we'll use ruby red on her lips. Her bandana. Let's 
So Jennifer's fingers all healed now. She's much better, which is good news. Um, I'm getting a few sales on eBay, but nothing major. I'd like to get a lot more, but it is what it is, unfortunately. It's that time of year. I, like I said, I'm always happy as long as I can make my fees. So. So yeah, it is going a bit lighter. For the first time of trying to do, really do skin tones with her. With markers, I'm quite pleased with that. I mean, it's not brilliant, but it's not that bad. you've not done something it's it's a learning curve and we all have to take it and I know that I do things differently next time I expect but it's not it looked very dark and it's actually lightening up nicely now so it's looking a lot better and of course it is easier if you're not got a camera in front of you and you're on an awkward angle so but I'm quite happy with the way it looks at the moment So I'm very excitedly looking forward to my Colour in Heaven subscription, my first one from the subscription, which is coming out soon. Now I've seen, as a subscriber, uh, the sneak peek now that went to Paul because obviously he's the person that um, got the subscription for me. It's coming in my name, but any emails go to him. So. He showed me it before he deleted the email. I know who it is. I could tell by looking at it. I'm very, very excited. I love this person's art. Um, and I looked at it and went, ooh, and I'm not gonna give it away because they don't want you to. And uh, I'm very glad I've got a subscription because I do believe that this one is gonna sell out very rapidly. I really do. I think it's gonna sell out so quickly that, um, if you want it, please go and get it straight away. I don't think it's going to be around for long. So yeah, do go and get it. Go and get it. So where's my blender? There it is. Right. It is going to sell out. I just know it is. It's going to sell out a lot quicker than some of them, I believe. The person that it is, is a brilliant artist and people love her work, so. I'm gonna go over it with Rose Red. Again, because it's already dried, so. Do go and get a copy. My advice is it is going to be a good one. I can't wait. I'm hoping it should come next week, I think. The end of next week. It's out on the 22nd, which is not next Wednesday. It's the Wednesday after. So it usually comes a good few days before. So I'm hoping it'll come towards the end of the week. And of course, we will do a flip through as soon as we get it. Of course we will. I'm just going to take this really dark wine red and do this bit in here because that would be um, very dark because it's behind her ear. So, oops, sorry. I'm terrible for knocking the camera. So back to Ruth. So far, I'm really enjoying this picture. I mean, it is obviously a one of the more simple ones in this, even... We've got the writing above, but even then it's still far more simpler than some of the others. Because the only thing really that's missing on this page is the, the writing. Um, 
obviously this is based on the World War II poster for Rosie the River Tower, encouraging uh, women to go into war work and work in the factories to uh, replace the men who were on the front and uh, do very important jobs um, in the munitions factories and the parachute factories and all sorts. And um, <clears throat> the first of the uh, great icons, I think. Great icon. So I think uh, to have her as the first character in a book of female empowerment roles is perfect. And it was a very good idea of uh, Hannah's to do that. I, I love it. And it's a nice take on her as well because she's so pretty as well as being a great feminist role model who uh, it's lovely and of course we could enter this in John's The Bibliophile Colorists A Whimsical 2020 which we will probably tag it as we'll only do the monthly one we won't do the yearly one and I will just do this bit. I'm just, as you can see, I'm doing them in sections to try and make sure I can get the things done. Some shading and stuff. So I'm really enjoying these markers. They are the flipping best. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I know Copics are probably better. Well, they're bound to be. They're more expensive. They're very good quality. But I think if you can't afford Copics, why not? Why not go for these? These are fantastic. You look at the the blending. It look it, they do blend quite well. <coughs> and I'm not very good at blending. Like I said, I don't use markers a lot. So that's the wrong one. Oops. Never mind. Doesn't matter because that's where it's going to be anyway. I don't normally want to keep the pens out because then I'll get confused as to which order they go back in but as I'm working with two colours here and I've got the deep red out because I was using that as well. I've got my uh, swatch book so I know what order they go back in. I do like them. I'm gonna enjoy colouring with these. I, I don't, it's not something I'm gonna colour every day with because I do like using pencils, but sometimes there are certain pictures I want to colour in markers. I like um, Serene by Nick Phil, but I've coloured in that and I used my Touch 5 and it looks really nice. And sometimes you do get one where you think, oh, I think I wanna do markers in this book or pencils in this book, or I'm gonna watercolour in this book just depends on what the book is, doesn't it? And markers, believe it or not, go down quite well on this, this thin paper. I think they go down well on the Jade Summer paper. Mm. I used my Touch Fives in the, the Nightmare book and it was, it went, it, it, it did look really good. So I was really pleased with that, so. that. We've still got a little bit over there to do which we'll do next. Let's just do this bit here. Be careful here because she's got hair there as well. So I, I do prefer the, the bullet rather than the chisel. Oh. Oops that's the wrong way end because I'm not looking again. I'm always going over these spots, but they're fine. So. Right, let's put these reds back. 
All right, so Kazan. Oh, I can't see. I'm just going to have to switch you off for a minute while I put these cards back. Right, we're going to do our eyes now, and we're going to use uh, Sienna Brown and Cinnamon, I think. So let's have a look. So we have got a bit of pink on there, but that's okay. So that looks quite dark, but this isn't actually that dark colour when it dries. So we just want to put a bit in. I'm enjoying colouring her, she's lovely. It does take some of it away actually. Not all of it, but some of it. There we go. And we're going to use the same colour for her hair. So let's just. Uh... Let's put it down a bit so you can actually see it without one. Oh, useless. So work's been busy. I really wish eBay would pick up a bit. It has its days, you know. I have had a sale today, but it's not a very big one. I need to get some more cameras listed, really. I've got so many. If I could get them listed, that would be so much better. Okay. Now, yes, I am doing this very similar to the Hanalyn cover which I think is quite similar to the original. And then the other one I might do completely differently. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this one. I'm loving the way she's coming out. I'm loving the way the markers are looking. I really am loving it. They look really good. So. I do, I think it's great. There's a bit of red I've missed up there. I'll go and get that in a minute, um, but that's okay. you can do the voice bubble and the thing whatever Kelly you want obviously she hasn't done that on this one um but yeah obviously she's a much better artist than I am which is why she is Hannah Lynn and I am just sitting here coloring them but 
I do love her work, so I'm really glad. Let me look for some blues. I'm just going to check my thing because we do want quite a dark blue. I'm <coughs> thinking the sapphire blue is quite denim is too dark, but I'm liking um, Aegean and sapphire and oh, I like more actually. Denim is very very dark. I think it's too dark. Maybe navy. Maybe if we go navy and uh, we could do navy and denim. Steel, navy and denim I think are the colours we want. We just got to find where they are. That looks like denim. Yeah, so uh, denim. Is that the other one? Steel and that's got to be navy, light navy. Uh, light navy blue steel is the lightest colour, so we'll, we'll do that one first. So we'll just we'll just do it in sections. And I've missed her hand here, look. So I'm gonna have to go back and do that. And because I like to do it in some sort of sensible order, I'm gonna do that first. A peaches and cream? No, that's not. That's in the wrong order then. That goes there. Right, that's just peaches and cream. So we'll just do a hand very quickly, which is here. I missed. It's just good fun, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's getting late, so I said it was going to be quick, but it's been over half an hour. So. Let's just do a bit around here. At least we've got a hand sort of done now. I'm going to put those back in a minute. Okay, so we were going to go with the lightest colour, which was steel blue. I've missed that. Is that part of her hair? Or it is part of her hair. I'll do that afterwards, don't I? Let's use the big one. I've gone way out. That's why I don't like using it. I prefer, much prefer using the <coughs> chisel. Not that it matters. It's only a, it's only a drawing, isn't it? And then light navy. This is when we will use the small one, not the big one. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting covered in it. That's fine for that one. I'm getting covered in, uh, in this ink. It's all good fun. She's a big one. So it's a blender, that's fine. So yeah, I have um, bled some of this blue out. Let's see if we can get some of it up. It just doesn't really matter, does it? Have a nice blue tip on there. Now we're going to use the denim in here because it's underneath, so it's going to be darker. As you see at the moment, all the blues are looking really dark. But, uh, there we go. And then we we'll use the light steel blue again on here. I'm just going to use this for now. I will use the big tip on the big expanse. But on this bit... Down there. 
So sometimes you can blend it with the actual colour that you've used. You don't need the blender pen. But, uh, there we go. We'll do again a big one. This little bit here first. We've been going about 35 minutes, so I'm actually going to just uh, clear this up. We're going to stop there for tonight because it's getting late and I do want to get to bed. It's very late. Um, so we will finish. I know we haven't got much to do on it. We've only got her body and the background and the, the words, but this is how she looks so far. I'm actually quite pleased with it. Um, I'll just do this bit of hair off camera before I go to bed so that it's done. It's hardly anything there, but I'm liking the way she looks so far, so I'm really pleased. So that's it for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, quick colour and chat. We will finish this off in the next one. I'm going to decide what colour background to do and what to do the speech bubble. I'll probably do that in a grey, actually. Might as well make the most of all the greys. And then we can put it in a, a black or something like that, you know, or gold. I don't know what. Yeah, maybe we'll have a bright colour. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, do give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends in case they might want to see. Um, sorry, I'm so tired, I'm not with it. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. I do appreciate each and every one of you, so thank you for subscribing if you are. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a video, which is quite regularly at the moment. I'm really pleased. I'm hoping to keep this up. I am going to be starting to film my complete colouring book collection. I'm going to start filming that in a minute actually because I'm going to have to do that in sort of sections because of where the books are kept. But I'll see you all soon with part two of Whimsy Girls at Work, Rosie. Bye guys.